Keanu Reeves and Forrest Whitaker star in the midweek movie Street Kings tomorrow night at the later than advertised time of 25 past 10. Now on RT1, bad news for Christie in Fair City. Kellogg's, at the heart of your family's breakfast. On the phone. What's up with you? Broke his leg. How'd he manage that? He came off his scooter. It's a very bad break with the sound of it. He definitely won't make the wedding. All oh, right. Well, I suppose at least he's able to recover on the beach. <laughs> he sounded terrible. He kind of hinted at me going over. Well, why don't you? Why don't we both go? To Bermuda? Yeah, I could look after you. You can relax on the beach. Don't be daft, Christy. Can't go as well. Why not? At the shop, the pub, the wedding. You know you're right. Huey was always a bit of a hypochondriac. He'd be grand. I said that set you back a fair bit. It's an ethical diamond. Expensive, I say. She's worth every penny. You know, I really need Tommy to accept us. Well, I don't think you're going to get Daddy to budge, certainly not before Valentine's Day. He needs to realize that I'm serious about his daughter. Well, why the rush? Why not? When everything is almost perfect. Well, I hate to say it, but you're an honorable man. Do you want me to go with you? No, no. This I have to do on my own. Oh, if NASA asks, you don't know where I've gone. Sherlock on down the road. Yes, he said he won't be long. He also said it might be a chance for you to put away your things. He hates the place being untidy. Oh. Right. So when are you going to tell Paul about the shares? Yeah, I'll call into him today. And we have to drop in to see my solicitor as well. Listen. What would your cost be making something like that? Should you not have got his permission for us now? Well, that's not your problem. Well, it is if I'm going to be his partner. Well, are you going to get involved in the business? Nah, what do I know about cars? Exactly. Listen, what's wrong with a jam sandwich, huh? Your grandma she used to make these delicious jam sandwiches every Sunday, yeah? <sighs> Give me that. It's a Victoria sponge. I'll make you want to say thanks. Yeah, one every Sunday. For the rest of your life. You could always ask him out. And go where? I don't have any money. So? Go to a gallery. Get the darts out of Kalini. Climb the hill. I don't think that'd exactly be Dean's thing. <laughs> Get that, will you? I'm in my pajamas. Yes, yes. Sorry for calling so early. Oh, not at all. We get up at the crack of dawn in this house. Oh. Is Tommy here? Oh, no. Can I get you some coffee? No, no. Listen, Judith, I know we talked about this the other day, but I really feel NASA needs Tommy's approval. 
Like I said, I'm sure you'll give it in time. Yeah, no, you don't understand. I haven't been entirely honest with you. I want to spend the rest of my life with Nasa. And I believe she feels the same about me. I thought you said you could wait. This row with Tommy is really upsetting her. I'm, I'm sorry, but aren't you moving a little bit too fast? I mean, she just moved in with you on Sunday. Oh, here's Tommy. Is Nasa here? No. Well, leave me up, I'm afraid. Could I have a word? I have nothing more to say. Tell me. I didn't come to row, Tommy. Then you'd better go. Okay. Judith, would you speak to him, please? Don't choose my wife to do your dirty work. You know exactly what I think of you, and I won't change my mind. I'm worried about Nasa. Do you have any idea what this is doing to her? Get out of my house. I said get out. I'll show you out. What was all that about? Go inside. What did you do that for? Go inside, Quiva. You need to calm down. Why do you keep blaming me? That guy knows exactly what he's doing. You should have let it run its course. Now it's turned into something else. What do you mean? This relationship is extremely intense. She's high on it. That's his plan, Judy. He has a whole history of manipulating people. He's going to end up ruining her life. Yes. You keep telling her that, and she'll waste the next ten years of her life with him. Probably in another country. Is that what you want? I want to get her away from him. You've got to back off and play this one out. She's coming around for lunch. If you can't be civil, maybe you shouldn't be here. I said I wanted that car done last night. I only collected the water pump at six yesterday. But you are gone for three hours, Ray. Hey, we're doing our best here. There's no need to talk to us like that, right? Well, if you want respect, get the work done, will you? Hey, Pop. Leo. Uh, listen, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. I'm uh, kind of busy right now, you know what I mean? Oh, OK. Well, look, I've been thinking about Dean lately. Look, uh, you know my shares in the garage, right? You think I'm selling your shares in the garage? Well, not exactly. No, I've given them to Dean. Sorry, excuse me. You, you're giving your shares to Dean in my garage? Do you two know about this? Don't involve us. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. You should have given me force refusal. But you I knew you couldn't afford them. That's not the point. You could have asked. Well, if you want to buy them now, Paul, I'm sure that Dean will be glad of the cash. You know we can't. But the agreement is the same. It's not going to make any difference. Well, it doesn't make any difference. What are you giving them to him for, then? Well, I'm just stepping back. I want to give my kid a good start, you know. OK, look, I apologize. I should have come to you first. This isn't going to involve their jobs now, is it? No, why would it? Dean's going to be a silent partner, right? Does everyone know about this? As long as their jobs are safe. Of course they are. All Dean wants to do is make cakes. Then what the hell is he doing with shares in a garage? Quiva. Come here. Hiya. Sit down. You're fine. Come on, what's wrong with you? Sit down. I'm just on a quick break, Taco. What do you want? Look, I got these vouchers. Yeah? Yeah, for the flicks. Do you want to go? Are you going tonight? No, thanks. Why not? I'll leave him by the popcorn. Sorry. Thanks, anyway. Well, look, even give them to your sister or something, all right? See you around. What are you doing here? Louis asked me to do a few shifts. I need the money. Hi there. Hey. Hey, I have these vouchers for the cinema. Do you want to go? Yeah, sure. Tonight? Um, hey. And did in particular do you want to see? Not really. Look, Quiva, kind of busy here, so... Call around for me at about eight. Sure. See you then. See you. Yeah. Why haven't you answered my calls? I was away with Ali. You came back on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. You were meant to be at work yesterday. I know, I was sick. Are you hiding from me? <sighs> Stop interrogating me, Louis. Look, I haven't a clue what's going on here. I was away visiting my grandson. 
Are you having second thoughts? Is that it? Because if it is, just tell me. Oh, for God's sake, Louis. I'm trying to work out a way of telling him. Well, then talk to me. I think of nothing but you. I know you're not sleeping with him, but I'm still jealous. I want you all to myself. I can't share you anymore. I just can't. Uh, Carol, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Oh, I'll leave you to it. I heard from Natalie. Who's Natalie? Louis' ex. He rang her. He's developed some kind of infection in his leg. How bad is it? I don't know. They're doing tests. But if she's worried about him... Oh, I'm sorry, Christy. I thought the colour would suit. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, it's just a sample. We found a silk importer in town from Bangalore. We're going to visit the factory when we go to India. It's gorgeous. I'll have a proper look when I wash my hands. Actually, I better go. I have to collect something I got for Turlock. Well, stay to lunch. Mm. I'll set the table. <laughs> just to warn you, Derval has been nosing through your wardrobe. Oh, they're just clothes. <laughs> have you had a lobotomy? Where did you get that skirt from? From Turlock. Right. What did he say about this morning? What do you mean? Oh, sorry, I just thought he would have told. Why? What happened? Quiva, tell me. Will you tell me? He called over and he had a row with that. What do you mean a row? I didn't hear it all, okay? What was Dad rude to him? Look, he left. That's all I know. You mean Dad threw him out? He is such a hypocrite. That's a don't! What did you say to Turlock this morning? No, sir. What did you say to him? You just can't accept him, can you? I'm with him. Do you understand that? I'm with him. So don't try and bribe me with this happy family garbage. Stop it. You're behaving like a child. If you had any respect for me, you'd trust my judgment. It's because I love you that I care about what happens to you. Yeah, and I love Turlock, and I won't let you get in the way. You've only known him for five minutes. Tommy. The man is brainwashing That's you. enough. You're dead to me. Stop it, the pair of you. Just leave, will you? Just leave. Yeah, with pleasure. Oh, no, no, sir, I'm sorry. <sighs> what did you say to her? Don't blame this on me. He must be in a bad way if he rang Natalie. Poor Yui, huh? There's nobody else for me. Are you going to go over to him? I want to. It's just the time couldn't be worse. Thought you'd gone to the wholesalers. I'm on the way. And I suppose if you do go over for a couple of weeks, I mean, it still gives you time to get ready for the wedding. Yeah, the wedding. <laughs> Getting close now, Christy. I bet you can't wait, huh? <laughs> the way Carol was at me the other night, I might not make it till the wedding, Ray. <laughs> Christy! <laughs> oh, listen, Carol, that was a great sandwich. Thanks very much. Yeah. Oh, and uh, good luck with that, Ray. Yeah. I should send you away more often. I'm sorry. I shouldn't embarrass you in front of the baby. Right, I'm off. I'll see you later. at the heart of your family's breakfast. Kellogg's, at the heart of your family's breakfast. Louis. Did you sleep with him? It was once. Did you enjoy it? Oh, shut up, Louis. You ended with them today. Oh, we're finished.
Supposing, like, well, you know Dean shares. Yeah. Well, supposing his business goes bust, what happens then? I reckon it'd be booming. Yeah? How's that? Well, look at all the unemployment. You're out of work, you're miserable, so you eat. But you eat comfort food, and that's where Dean comes in. Will you get me a three-quarter inch, for Oh, yeah, but going on that logic, you think about it. <laughs> Things can only get worse. You won't be going out for coffee. Oh, no, you'll be having that at home, you know, with your value Swiss roll. Hey, and if the banks do pull the plug on him and his cakes, they'd whip in the gadget chairs, and then it'd be me and you out the door. You're reading too many papers. <sighs> well, there's still an all. Leo's not been up front. Someone should tell Paul about it. Someone should tell Paul what? That's simple, huh? Yep. Flick of a pen, and you're a rich man. Yeah, in paper. You just flashed that in front of the bank manager. And uh, Bob Wren's okay with this. Yeah, I called him to see him this morning. He knows the story. Happy days. Yep. All you have to do now is find a few customers. Hey, you know something? I could get into this cake making myself. I think my hands are too big to be a baker. What? All that delicate decoration. <laughs> Listen, I could be your assistant. Need the doll. Dowling and father. <laughs> Dad, that's like the worst idea you've ever had. Hey. Paul, you never told me what he wanted the shares. Huh? You lied to my face, Leo. He wants them for collateral. Hey, I'm right here, Paul. He flips burgers for a living. What's he know about business? I know a lot. Uh, yeah, a lot, actually. And I probably won't even need to use the shares. Oh, you will, when it goes belly up. He won't go belly he up. He defaults on one pain when the bank steps in. So you put everything I've worked for at risk. Ah, oh, listen, you're completely over a yank. I've got a family to support, Leo. OK, OK, look, I will guarantee it. Hey, there's nothing to do with you. I want that in writing. You'll get it. What'd you do that for? Well, hey, don't worry, he's only blowing off hot air. Don't you guarantee him anything. Do you hear me? They're my shares and I'm going to do it my way without your interference. Uh, the customers can hear everything, you know. It's stunning. The frame is fabulous. Where did you find it? It comes from Bangalore as well. The woman that sold it to me said any negative energy will be reflected back positively. Well, there's no negative energy between you two. No, Bob. I look around. Well, let me go and see if I can find any hooks. Is he going to be here all day? I'll go out later, I promise. Why didn't you tell me about what happened this morning? There's no point. Can't believe he threw you out. You shouldn't have gone around there. Well, I had to try. Yeah, well, I couldn't care if I ever saw him again. Ah, uh, Nasa, who's your father? I just want to get away from everyone and be with you. You do know that I am going to do my best to make you very happy. Sorry. No hooks. Yeah, it's not like you're making cakes all the time. Ray, I've been in the kitchen all my walking life. Yeah, but you can see Paul's point. What have you got, Bust? Yeah, but everybody loves cakes. Yeah, but you're up against the big guns, plus a recession. Ray, it's not about the product, it's about marketing. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't forget to put a uh, dolphin friendly on the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> no orangutan tortured with that apple slice. That'll shift it. Yeah, you can laugh. You know. no, no, Dean is right. You've got to target your market. No, you should go around all the local businesses, have a brochure with photographs. What about a website? You see, your agent. <laughs> That's already in me plan, that. Yeah, see Neve, she'll do your deal. Yeah, as long as Paul doesn't find out. Hey, what about weddings? Hey, you could do Carol and Christie's wedding. Exactly, yeah. Hey, just mention it to her. Nah, leave it, will you? No, go on. Nah, Ask her. Stop it. What? I'm only trying to help no, here. You're not. You're taking over. Look, it's my business. I just put out, OK? Oh, yeah. Sorry I spoke. You're <laughs> hard in your old fella there. It's none of your business, Finn. Roy, I gotta meet someone. Yeah, good luck. You can go home. Come on, till 10. Just go, Carol. And remember, I need to know where I stand by the end of today.
Oh. I thought you were working till 10. Yeah, now I'm not. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm sorry if I embarrassed you earlier. Yeah, well, you did. Look, what are these doing here? Oh, I thought I'd have them cleared away before you came home. Listen, why don't you sit down? I can see you're tired. Is there anything I can get you? No. Give it to them, will you? I'll get that. I'm not a bear. We should probably get going. What do you want to see? The hell? I haven't really thought about it. Well, I like thrillers and French. Ooh. Yeah, me too. Do you? Do you know, I don't think I'll be able to concentrate in a movie. <sighs> we can always stay in. Where's your father? He's ill. <laughs> Come on, stay over. You're kidding. I'm not waking up to small talk over the cornflakes with your dad. Nah, I'll sneak out in the morning. It's not really my style. What are you, some sort of four-star hotel girl, eh? More of a camping under the stars girl. <sighs> so I'm dating Miss Bear Grizz. Uh, who said we're dating? <laughs> Come here to me. Forget about it. We're going out. It's your neck. Did you tell him? No. So what do you want, Carol? For God's sake, Louie, you know what I want. Does that mean you choose me? Yes, now will you go? I'll tell him. You will not. So you tell him, or I tell him, or we're done. This isn't fair. He deserves more respect. I deserve more respect. Now, is he in there? No way, Louie. Then tell me to walk out of your life, Carol, and I'll go. Christy! Oui. It's just pub stuff. We can deal with it tomorrow. Dinner later? Actually, I was planning to make dinner for just the two of us. Get these out of here. Put them back in. I'm running a burger joint, not a bakery. They're staying here. No, Dean, they're not. Now get them out of here. Turlock is talking about eloping. I'll just kill him. I'm gonna have to go over there. Of course. Will you come with me? That's on the way tomorrow at 7.30. Next tonight, it's Ear to the Ground.